That would be amazing. It'd be funny if you Because then I wouldn't have to play him if I managed to make it to Winners Finals. No yeah. assumptions, because no I got a very tough opponent. Ah. Okay. Stay humble. <laughs> Sit down. Oh okay. Boy. I love that he was halfway across the fucking map, but he still ran across and grabbed him after the missed grab. Yeah, one thing uh, about Lucas is, against Mario, when you down throw and you start up tilting Lucas, even if it's like high percent, he can always jump out. I don't know how he does it. It's some voodoo magic. So definitely a wait and full speed thing. Yeah, obviously. But it's also some voodoo magic. It's also some voodoo magic. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have a jump. Goes for the tether though. I think Popper should have ran off with like a nair. Stop that tether from connecting. He wanted Popper to be aggressive in advantage. Does he not do that? No. He's, he's pretty the, aggressive. He's Depends who he's playing. He's literally the stand in the uh, offensive spot and then wait for the opponent to make a mistake. And then uh, have mistake. you seen Jordan versus my Donkey Kong? He's quite aggressive. I mean, sure. But if Without over committing. Anybody, yeah, he's just waiting for your mistake. See, like, he's never going off stage. Why would he bother? Well, yeah, because it's Lucas. Uh, back throw. Reset up with the flood. Oh, nice. I like doing that. You charge the move to bait them into thinking you're like going to keep charging it for a little longer. I you just, just immediately I, I cancel it. Has it. More lag. Like, I just think that it has more lag every time. I do the exact same thing with charging Giant Punch. And you can do it with a lot of moves like, I don't know, Shadow Ball. You Jesus. know, name it. But, like, you just charge it, you charge it for like half a second. And then they're like, time to approach. And then you just like slam, slam, them, with a, slam them with the feet. I'm surprised you got... Oh, never mind. Sorry, what were you saying? He got out of the full, first forward smash, and I was like, how do you do that? And then he got hit by another one, so I guess ah, he yeah. came back to bottom of the arse or something. When the forward smash frame traps itself. Alright, pop at one. I just get that there, grab. And he's out of the combo. I feel like they should... Have they reached a point in the Lucas meta where you don't do down throw now? Uh, yeah, when you're playing against someone that's competent and smashed the eyes. So what I'm Lock saying is... If Locky down throw the... nares against a character that isn't DK against me, he just, like, loses more. You smash the eye down and well, then yeah, you up to it. it's negative on hit because you just get out and hit them. Yeah, exactly. What I'm saying is, what is the aerial of choice if you don't do down throw Footstool. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Footstool is the aerial of choice. No, it would be down throw... Is it down throw back air? Uh, you can do down air? throw, up tilt, up air. But Lucas has loved trying to go for the like triple nair up here. Have you seen the, the conversation that Nathan has where it's like down through a jab against YouTube because of the tail hitbox? It looks really funny. Oh yeah, <laughs> I have seen that. And you can uh, down throw a jab to footstool. Yeah, down throw a jab to ground uh -oh. and footstool and down there. It's really funny. Looks like we got an SD, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that exciting? It would be a stream without at least one of those. We've had at least like seven of those this tonight, especially. Uh, we are a diligent state. That practices regularly. Sad SD three times. Yeah, I didn't have to play him. And lost a jar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're a lucky fucking ducky. Uh, I okay. Mean, yeah, he's one of the people I don't want to play often, but I wouldn't say I'm like a lucky. Why? How'd you go in against Jar, by the way? I want to. Yeah, but how how was it? Oh, I you felt like it was a close. I had this conversation about Luigi, where I feel like against Luigi, I feel like I can't show off how good I am because the way the character plays. And the way he's like, like, he can nair and he's floaty and he's like, you hit a shield and he slides and it's all really awkward. It's like, I feel like it's just straight hit after straight hit until yeah, you kill him. That's fair. So you I can't like, do like cool combos. Yeah, like, you, you can't get nice advantage like, oh, or good edge did, guards. Yeah, all, we did was, all I did was roll behind and then down smash <laughs> like six times. It's just like, I feel like I didn't really play very well. I really liked before. Couldn't really uh, bring it up because we were talking about that. But did you see Jordan at the ledge? Every time Luquas did like an uppy, he would just down tilt it, and then he got like the single hit jab. Just a lot of like little little peppers, keeping Lockie off stage. Yeah, Jordan's back. Apparently, he was not given a uh, sponsorship opportunity because he's from WA. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> Perth sucks. No, they're I like think we're just far away. I don't think. Yeah, like. Ooh, okay. Nice up smash. It's Gorilla with a gun. So yeah, guys. rumors were they heard that Pop at One had a terrible record against Gorilla with a gun, so they yeah. <laughs> they denied his sponsorship. No, it's just what the hell is this? What, what the fuck was that? That had to be on purpose. Now, see, give him a uh, big no, break. look at him. He's, no Jordan's way shaking his real. head. No way it was real. I think it was. Okay, I don't think it was true, but Lockie's not going to immediately up B because then I expected the cape. Did you not? I mean, sure. That's probably what he wanted. 
No, nah, because the cape didn't even come out. But then you cut to the player cams. I was like, ooh, that looked intentional. And you see Jordan just shaking he's his like, head. No. Like, he's like, no, I didn't mean to do that. And this is just what you get when you make when you have a fundamental playstyle against a creative one. Yeah, you, Everything creative and good in this world dies and gets sent to hell, you get and the, you end up with Pop at One, the most boring Mario I've ever seen. About no, I'm joking. I actually love Pop at Mario. People fist bump in between games in Perth, and I really hate it. <laughs> it's like a good luck per game system. When I feel like a fist bump is worth at least four games. Like, Ooh! I feel like that F smash though. Oh, for God's sake! I missed it. I looked away for like a. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It was a Mario F smash. Um, I feel like you're allowed to re fist bump for game five. I feel like that's yeah. fine. You know what? Like I. Or an intense game three. I feel like I've conditioned everyone into fist bumping me between each game, but now I agree with you, and I'm like, what's the point of this? In between games are so stupid. Sometimes it depends on my salt level whether I initiate a fist bump, because I don't want to be giving them good luck if I just lost, you know. Oh, I give it to I give it to Turnup because he literally sits there with his fist out like a big idiot. Yeah. So. But other than that, I'm like. No. Wow. Don't be mean to Jack Catamore. I tell him every time. He's just here like... to have a good time. Play good ninja. I just tell him no. Oh, that was a bad uh, air dodge, but he gets away with it. That was a great anti-air. Plus a re-level up tilt. Very good. That F smash took Loki's stock so early, and now yeah. he's just fucked. I don't think there's much bringing this back. Popper one, solidifying his reign as the king of Perth, comes back, and he's about to 3-0. Number seven on the big win yeah, 25. Yeah, is not, not a good guy. If I don't take a game off Popper, Perth is truly screwed. I hope I get to play him tonight, actually. See, he just goes out there, sitting on the aggressive jumping back out, he just waits for the air dodge, and then the air dodge doesn't come, he just recovers. That's it. No, I don't know why I said that. I know this character. That was not it. What the f- <laughs> That up in neutral. You don't need that, dude. You need to grab him. My favorite, uh, Poppet, is when he, like, He'll do something stupid, or like something dumb happens in one of his games. Nice back throw. Yeah. But like, if something dumb happens in one of Poppet's games, he'll start playing like the biggest, like... He just does the weirdest stuff. Like spot dodging five times, and, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, Vic's gonna get on Jordan's, uh... Nice, up air, not gonna still kill. Living. They're gonna be like, oh, Vic power up, Jordan's unstoppable, he was in Vic for a month. And I'm like, nah, he's probably gonna be about the same. No, I think it's a Vic level down because there's no Donkey Kongs to practice against. He's gonna go against me and he's like playing normally. And then I'm gonna do you know, you know I'm the best solo Ryu in Australia now. Wait, you're better than Snugs? Snugs plays Cloud now as well as Ryu. Really? Yeah. Oh, what a loser. But what a winner! Mr. Poppet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that what transition. <laughs> okay. Uh, Little Z versus Semesti is gonna be on stream now. Commentator Powers to Rivals of Ether. Hello. Oh, hey guys. Woo. Hey, are these new headsets? These feel like these feel like new headsets to me. Yo, what is up? Hey. Oh, Pats! Let's, uh... Snugs, what you doing? Chuck our names in here. Hi. My name doesn't fit, remember? That's okay. We'll make it fit. Um... <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> I was like, wait, recording. let me just remember it. Oh, wait, no, I don't need to. That's cool. Stop recording.